Okay, so I'm going to start with um, looking at C major scale hands together. So you're starting an octave apart, C and C, thumb and five. Okay, the first octave is not too bad. You turn the right hand first and then the left hand first. The first thing you have to think about is when you get to the C, you must make sure you turn the thumb in the right hand. I'll just do that first octave again. So right hand under, left hand over, and then the right hand under again. Okay, and this, once you've done that, the next thing you have to be careful is that the left hand comes over with the fourth finger, always next to the C, next to the key note. Then the right hand goes under, and the left hand over. So let's do that octave again, two octaves just going up the scale. Right hand under, left hand over, then the thumbs together on the C. Left hand comes over with the four, right hand goes under, left hand goes under, over, sorry. sorry. All right, now we go back down again. So this time the left hand goes under first, then the right hand goes over. And it's the left hand this time that must turn the thumb onto the C. Now you have to think about the right hand coming over with the four and be very careful here that the left hand doesn't forget to do the turn under because that's a common mistake. The right hand goes over and then you finish the whole scale. All right. Coming down the scale is often when people do go wrong with fingering so be very careful. I'll just come down the scale again. So first goes the left hand, then the right hand, and then the left hand, the thumb, got the thumbs on C. Make sure you get that point halfway. Now the four in the right hand, and very soon after that, the thumb comes under in the left hand. That's the one you must be careful of, okay? So just take it very, very slowly so you can watch all the turns and where they're happening. All right, because the same finger pattern will stand you um, for the next other scales that you're going to have to do hands together as well. Then we looked at chromatic scale. So on a piano, every white and black key, they are all semitones. Okay. Um, we are just doing a one octave scale from D to D and back again. Okay. Um, right hand, we'll start with our thumb and the third finger goes on every black key. So what you need to learn is where do you use the second finger. So in the right hand you use it on F, then it's three, thumb, three, thumb, three, thumb, then it's on C, three, and you've reached the top. Then go back down again, so three goes on the black key. Remember where the two was, it was on C, three, and also it was on F. So as long as you follow that carefully, you, you can't go too wrong with a chromatic scale. The left hand, I'm going to start the next D below and immediately I'm going up to the scale so we need to bring the finger over. So again, it starts with the thumb, third finger on every black key. This time the second finger goes on the E. and the second finger goes on the B, thumb, three, and thumb. So I'm at the top and I'm going to go back down again. So be careful that you put the second finger in exactly the same place, which was B, three, thumb, three, thumb, and it was on E, three, and thumb. I think you said that it's just the opposite to the right hand, which it is. Okay, so have a go at those two new scales.